Linda with two great movies and a department store dressing room. What could be better? Next on USA Up All Night. There's a security room, and he'll be back in a few minutes. Whew. Oh, hi. I'm Rhonda Shear, and this is USA Up All Night. And if you're anything like me, then you know what my two favorite things are. So, do me a favor. Jot them down on a piece of paper and send them to me, because I forgot what they were. <laughs> now, be creative, because I'm going to read the best ones on the air. Go get a pencil, and I'll give you the address in a minute. In the meantime, you're probably wondering what I'm doing in this little room. Why am I in this little room? Um, does anybody have a script? <sighs> Thank you. Hello. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm in the security room of a major department store. See that sign over there? Warning. Shoplifting is not nice. Not only are you being watched, you could be arrested or at least yelled at. Ooh. You are being watched, and this room is where it all takes place. That room right there is a changing room where people come to try on new clothes before they buy them. We're separated by a two-way mirror, which means we can see them, but they can't see us. <gasps> Here's someone else. Nice tie, buddy. <laughs> anyway, as you can imagine, this is going to be very interesting. First up, though, USA Up All Night has outdone itself and brought forth two great films for the whole family to enjoy on a Friday night. Later, you'll see Summer Job, but first we have Sorority Girls and The Creature from Hell. Now, all too often, you see movies portraying sorority girls as shallow. Tonight's movie is much different. It's Sorority Girls, and they're athletic. Smart. <laughs> And fun loving. Oh God, I'm ready to party, party. So, without further ado, we present Sorority Girls and the Creature from Hell on USA Up All Night. Is this what guys do in dressing rooms? <laughs> well, now you've met all the Sorority Girls in tonight's feature. If you ask me, a more appropriate title for this movie would be The Creature and the Sorority Girls from Hell. You know, this is nice. Everyone who's come in here so far has really been on their best behavior. I wonder if he blew dry those this morning. Oops, wait. Ooh, ooh. Oh, that must have hurt. But wait, you missed one. It's right, right over there. Get, can you get that one? Like, uh, this is so frustrating. I, I just want to help. I mean, there's, there's a gray one right there. There's like a gray one, and there's something hanging off of it. Don't just. There you go. There you go, boy. I think you... Yes! Hmm. I'm losing my mind. When you USA Up All Night returns, you'll get more of your midnight morsel and more sorority girls and the creature from hell. So stay tuned. Oh, no. This is really good. He's not even in the car and he's doing this. Oh! He's doing brain surgery! department store in the security room, and behind me is a changing room and a two-way mirror. <gasps> oh, look at that poor, oh, that poor blind man. See, this is the only bad part about what we're doing, because I can't go in and help him, or he'd know that we're in here watching him. <gasps> oh, look at him. He's trying to find the hook. Oh, he missed it. This is terrible. I feel so helpless in here. I just want to go in and I, I have to do something. I just, I wish I could just uh, look at him. I just wish I could just go in there and, 
and help him, you know, turn the pages of that book that he's reading. I wish I could do something. You're watching Sorority Girls and the Creature from Hell on USA Up All Night, where our motto is... No cash, no splash. Now, back to the movie. I want to help. I mean, I'd help you. I'd read it for you. I, I could explain what the pictures look like. I'm so frustrated with this security thing. It's Rhonda here, and we're having some fun with a two-way mirror in a department store. I can't wait to see what's going to happen next. My mother, is this a small world or what? Wow. Excuse me. Um, that's not really my mother. Actually, she doesn't look anything like my mother. Nothing like her, not even. <gasps> Mom! 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 <laughs> we'll be back with more sorority girls and the creature from hell, a movie made by, by drunk teenagers. For drunk teenagers, after these commercials, messages on USA up all night. Doesn't look anything like my mother. My mother is, uh, is blonde. She's blonde, very big hair, big. Well, Rhonda wants to hear from you. Write me, Rhonda, USA up all night. P.O. Box 5719, Beverly Hills, California, 90209-5719. we learn that J.J. must be on the college debate team. Just listen how persuasive he is. Ladies, either get on the bed or get out. USA up all night rolls on. Well, that's the key to any good sorority girl film. Have a designated girl say, I'm ready to party every 30 seconds and you've got a hit. Well, finally, that's a nice, healthy young man. Cute, too. Hi there, cutie pie. I can see you, but you can't see me. We'll be right back with more sorority girls and the creature from hell after these messages. I think I'll just sit now. I'll just sit right here. This is a bad job. tradition of great monster movies like Jaws, Aliens, and Close Encounters of the Third Kind, Sorority Girls and the Creature from Hell only gives us glimpses of the creature early in the movie. This bit of mystery adds to the terror of the unknown. Here's an especially horrifying glimpse. <laughs> Chilling, isn't it? USA Up All Night continues. USA Up All Night will be right back to Sorority Girls and the Creature from Hell. And while we're on the subject, how about a joke? How many sorority girls does it take to screw in a light bulb? Twenty. One to screw it in and nineteen to stand around and sing about it. Be right back. Rhonda, in the security room of a huge department store, and behind me is a two-way mirror and a dressing room. Oh, look, I know her, I know her. We were roommates together in college. Oh, she can't see me. Betty, you look, well, she looks pretty good. We always, we always have the same hair. Um, I'll be darn. You know, that woman knows every intimate detail about me. We used to stay up late at night talking, and oh, we talked about everything, and she used to borrow my heat rollers. Think of all the secrets we used to share with each other. Ah, the good old days. So now that there's a creature from hell on the loose, I guess that the sorority girls might quit all their babbling about wanting to party. Oh, 
Hooray, party. I'm so hot. I'm ready to have some fun. So, I guessed wrong. Let's get back to our movie as USA Up All Night continues. What a bummer their vacation is turning out to be. First, there's a creature from hell taking human sacrifices. And now, there's an escaped convict on a killing spree. Not to mention, they're running low on light beer. Wow. Oh, look at this dude, Mr. Dude Guy. Oh, Mr. Health Nut. He's got a carrot in his pocket. <laughs> oh, look at this. I can't believe what guys do. Oh. oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Look at those muscles. He's kissing himself. He's loving himself. Look at him. Oh, that hat's got to go. This is a bad thing. Oh, my God. Oh, this is embarrassing. Look at... I know he is. I know he is. It's Fabio's brother. Fabio. One Veranda. There will be more sorority girls and the creature from hell to come. Right after these commercial messages on USA Up all night. Oh, gross. Oh, man. I feel sorry for the creature in our movie. I mean, imagine. He's at a nightclub just trying to meet someone nice, and she asks him, So, where are you from? It's just something to think about as USA Up All Night continues with sorority girls and the creature from hell. Sorority girls have thought about asking the creature for some suggestions to improve their Hell Week activities. Oh no, not him again. Wonder what he's gonna do now, Mr. Nose Hair Guy. Oh, flossing. Very nice. That is so Oh my god, that is so disgusting! Oh my god, there's scorn and broccoli and that my his lunch is in his mouth. My god wait, you're missing some like right there, right? Right there, can you just like, oh, that's good, that's good, that's real. It's such a waste, he's wasting that. I could be eating that. Do you know there's people that are starving? People want to be eating. That looks so delicious. I love cream corn. I just wish he could hear me. USA Up All Night will return to Sorority Girls and the Creature from Hell after these messages. Sorority girls and the creature from hell. Things get a little hectic and the fishing dude loses his head. <laughs> it's all here on USA Up All Night. Don't you just love two-way mirrors? Ron is in a major department store in the security room and behind me is a changing room. It's getting re... <gasps> oh, look how sweet two nuns. <gasps> sort of reminds me of my days at Mount Carmel Academy in New Orleans. Wow. I didn't even know that nuns shopped. Well, if anyone deserves some privacy, I guess they do. I'll just turn around and let nuns do whatever it is that nuns do. USA Up All Night will continue with Sorority Girls and the Creature from Hell in a moment. Please stay tuned. Gosh, such warm memories of, of Catholic school days. They're so nice. Sister Mary Grace and Sister Mary Ellen, they were so nice to me. They always gave me good grades, and the ruler never bothered me. It was absolutely fantastic. <laughs> it's your bedtime, buddy in the security room of a major department store. Behind me is a changing room, and we have a two-way mirror, so they can't see us, but we can see them. Oh, look, it's a rabbi. Isn't that nice? You see, even rabbis have to buy clothes. Wow. Oh, my God, what's he doing? It's a ham. Stop. Don't do it. Oh, my gosh. I, your mother, 
Sheesh, it cost so much for those rabbi lessons and bar mitzvahs. Go back to the movie, get back to the movie. What's with this non-rabbi thing? I, I'm shocked. <sighs> Those guys are going after the creature from hell with guns. Now I wonder where the creature's soul will go if he dies. He's already been to hell and that didn't help. Perhaps Cleveland? Oh, now this looks like a normal guy. It's about time that we got someone decent in here. Well, sort of normal. Oh, this is getting scary already. I, oh no, he's talking to himself. We'll see sisterhood put to the ultimate test when we return to sorority girls and the creature from hell after these messages on USA up all night. Ew, Cody's even through glass. There's Cody's on me. There's you can get arrested for doing that. Now for the conclusion of sorority girls and the creature from hell on USA up all night. Tonight's second feature is called Summer Job, and here's one of the stars to describe it for you. Look, a fart guy should not like any of these this fat. Well, that didn't help, but a picture paints a thousand words, so take a look. Now that about sums it up. It's Summer Job on USA Up All Night. We're not afraid to show movies about the summertime in late January. It's all about aggressive counter-programming here on USA Up all night. More summer job right after these messages. Rhonda wants to hear from you. Write me, Rhonda, USA Up all night. P.O. Box 5719, Beverly Hills, California, 90209-5719. Watching Summer Job on USA Up All Night, a movie that features tremendous leg dexterity. Now, back to the action. Now, back to Summer Job, the movie that put the service into rum service. Room service. <laughs> On USA, up all night. It's Rhonda in the security room of a major department store. Behind me is a changing room, and there's a two-way mirror. We can see in, but they can't see us. Wow, nice coat. Cute guy. You know, the one thing I learned today is people are basically honest. I mean, it just warms my heart. I mean, these security guards must be getting really bored all day long. Nothing out of the ordinary ever happens. I mean, some strange things happen, but nothing really amazing. I mean, it's good to see that we live in a world where everyone's honest and straight. And it makes me feel good and proud to be an American and proud to be a shopper and proud to be able to go shopping and proud to be able to change in dressing rooms where people are honest and they, they never take anything. I mean, I mean, there was some odd going, you know, well, you know, people kissing themselves. But other than that, honest, no feeling, no nothing. These are good people. This is a good department store. I love it here. Those security guards should get other jobs. Perhaps they could come to my house and guard my house. Well, I wouldn't mind that. That wouldn't be bad at all. But it's great. It's great. Just I'm feeling so good about this. That maybe I'll just, I could get a job here because I would have nothing to do all day long. I could sit around and read People magazine. It would be fantastic. I believe in honesty, don't you? I mean, I bet you've never taken anything. <sighs> I feel so, I'm busting all over. We'll have more dressing room drama and summer job when USA Up All Night returns after these messages. Yeah, 
honesty. We're in the security room of a big department store. Behind me is a two-way mirror and a changing room. Wow, look at that dude. Rock and roll is here to stay. Yeah. Hey, dude. Oh, yeah. Bet he's going to be heir to Tarn. Anyway, I know Summer Job has a lot of sexy girls in it. But, ladies, it also has its share of passionate men. Just look. <laughs> you want to stay up all night? Rolled on. Come on, dude. Come on. Rhonda in the security room of a big department store. And behind me is a changing room with a two-way mirror where we can see them, but they can't see us. USA up all night will return with more summer school after these fine commercials. We're having a good time now. Relaxing here. Nothing ever goes on. I don't know why these guys go crazy at the post office. These security guards should go, secure, go crazy. I mean, it's boring. It's actually, it's just sort of a relaxing place to be. I can just put my feet up and ah, stretch. Wow. It's really pleasant here. Now, not only is Summer Job a funny movie, but it's also a steady and effective nonverbal communication. Let's get back to it as USA Up All Night continues, and I'll just relax here. Hmm. It's Rhonda in the security room in this great department store. Behind me is a two way mirror. <gasps> oh, I know him. We went out on a date just last night. He was really nice and polite. But there was something about him that bothered me. I just couldn't put my finger on it. Oh, well, I certainly can't watch him change. And besides, I know him, and he really was nice. I'll, I'll just turn around. <laughs> you know, I have to say, being a security guard is, is a very interesting thing to do. I mean, you really get to know people, get a feel for people. I mean, I mean, it's a parade of life we've seen tonight. It's been a, a wonderful experience. I mean, they probably know about people just the way that they, they put their clothes up on the rack or the way they slip in and out of something. It, it just says so much about something. Human nature is, is a really fascinating thing, and I've learned so much. I, I didn't even know that, that ra rabbis needed anything else but those like long black things and those those things coming out of their hair. Anyway, it has been very interesting and I, I want to come back and do this again. I must say that out of all the things I've ever done as a part-time job, this could be one that I could truly enjoy. I love getting to know people. You know that. Oh. Hello? Hi, uh, my name's Fred and a girlfriend of yours gave me your phone number. She thought we'd really hit it off together. How about uh, meeting me for a drink tonight? Really? Um, well, who's the friend that gave you my number? Uh, well, I, I promise I wouldn't tell you her name unless things really worked out well. But, um, God, I'm sure we'll hit it off. But what do you say? Spa goes 7 o'clock tonight? Uh, well, I guess since she's a friend, um, sure. Okay, 7 o'clock would be great. Hey, hey, what do you look like so, you know, so I'll recognize you because I... Oh, You'll recognize me. I'm six foot four, 190 pounds, black hair, very muscular, and I have very large hands, oh. if you know what I mean. Oh, wow. Well, I'll see you at seven. Okay. Bye. Bye. Wow, this must be my lucky day. Yay! This is a great job. <gasps>
Rhonda wants to hear from you. Write me, Rhonda, USA, up all night. P.O. Box 5719, Beverly Hills, California, 90209-5719. job on USA up all night. Man, oh man, can you believe we're done with another edition of USA up all night? Well, unfortunately, it's true. Hey, whatever happened to that security guard? He never came back. Well, he must be busy somewhere else in the department store. But you stay tuned for the understudy, Graveyard Shift 2. And I'll see you again next week when we'll do something completely different all over again. Until then, remember, from the keeper of the sizzle kiss, if it's L.A., it's Rhonda, up all night.